So good evening guys. In the last video I did I mentioned uh, a natural supplement called black seed oil that I use and I promised to do a video on it and I got a little sidetracked over the last 48 hours or so but I wanted to get to that so it's uh, late in the evening tonight so I figured I would go ahead and do it do some artificial lighting here and just obviously show the show the product I guess I don't sell this or anything it's just a suggestion and some information about it so uh, black seed oil has been used as a natural supplement theoretically for thousands of years it's not a, a new thing even though a lot of people haven't heard of it um, some people who hear of it think that it's uh, black sunflower seed oil and it's actually not it is something completely different um, so it's commonly called black seed oil and it comes from the black cumin plant which is commonly also called black caraway and this is grown in Asia and the oil comes from the seed usually by pressing and sometimes by distillation and the Latin name of the plant is nigella sativa which basically means common black is what it means in Latin nigella is black and sativa is common so basically when they when they press this the seed it creates a pretty fatty oil that's extracted by the pressing process or the distillation process and that fatty oil is really really rich in unsaturated fats especially linolic oil and uh, olic oil so there's been a lot of research done on the use of black seed oil um, in poultry in particular as well as humans but it's becoming widely used as one of the most common natural supplements in poultry and one of the things it's been found to do is to increase the egg production of laying hens and also influence that production in a lot of other positive ways so I've got a set of notes here so I'm going to discuss a little bit of that so in addition to increasing the egg production of the hens one of the things it also does it actually increases the shell quality of the egg and also increases the weight of the egg which if you're a poultry breeder these are these are big deals um, especially if you're in the commercial egg industry but also from a standpoint of, of breeding and what I do some of you know I, I am in the poultry industry and I basically specialize as a breeder of fairly rare standard bred exotic poultry <clears throat> and I can tell you that the better shell quality and more egg weight is definitely something we're after and kind of a, a side effect of that not really a side effect but a, a positive thing generally is that it's been found that in, in addition to increasing the quality of the the egg yolk it actually produces a lower uh, cholesterol egg yolk than is typically found in, in normal chickens it's also got really strong antibacterial and antiviral properties um, in fact, these properties are so strong that <clears throat> the U.S. government is very leery of expounding on the uh, <coughs> merits of natural supplements. And black seed oil is actually one of the few that the NIH has to admit has a, a lot of valuable properties to it. So it's, it's very good as an antibacterial supplement and very good as an antiviral uh, supplement. Um, one thing it's been known to do, it actually limits the presence of E. coli in the, in the digestive tracts of birds. Uh, you know, which some of you who race and, and are involved in other things, you know, E. coli is a common concern. Um, <clears throat> and one of the other things it also does is it's been actually been found to inhibit the uh, spread of uh, respiratory disease in birds, especially with infectious bronchitis. Um, <clears throat> and in general, from the standpoint of poultry, it's regarded as a great immune booster. Um, and it's been found to uh, protect against the development of tumors, not only in birds, but also humans. It's considered a very powerful anti-cancer natural supplement. It actually inhibits tumor growth and um, has also been found to uh, support kidney health. So it's very, very good at protecting the respiratory system and also to some, and the digestive system and the pretty much the excrement system. You know, so if you're concerned about, you know, good digestion in your birds, black seed oil is very beneficial. Um, 
It's also been found to be uh, an antifungal, um, in addition to being antiviral and antibacterial. Uh, um, and there's po pretty powerful antioxidants found in black seed oil. Um, there really hasn't been a lot of research done on the use of black seed oil in pigeons. Um, it's not something that's been very commonly used yet by pigeon fanciers. You know, some of us were, a lot of racing fanciers especially, are pretty pretty slow to switch to the natural supplements and, you know, tend to get their stuff out of a, out of a medical bottle. So, real research related to the use of a lot of products, and especially just because of the way pigeons are, where from a economic standpoint, they are not as valuable as poultry, you know, they don't tip it, you know, it's not a lot of people eat squab, there's very, very few people, especially in this country, that eat pigeon eggs. That is a big industry in China, and over there, they have done some research utilizing black seed oil in pigeons, especially in the squab industry and also the egg industry, because in, in China, they do eat pigeon eggs the same way those of us in Western countries eat chicken and duck eggs. They're considered a pretty common food in many parts of Asia. So they have done some some research specific to pigeons, and one of the one of the really interesting things that's been found about black seed oil is that it actually combats the negative effects of tetracycline drugs, you know, which are really commonly used by a lot of pigeon fanciers, and unfortunately, unbeknownst to a lot of the people who use tetracyclines as kind of a cure all for everything is that it actually has a, a negative effect on what are called leukocytes and lymphocytes. Um, and basically what those are, those are a, play a major, the leukocytes and lymphocytes play a major role in the immune systems of birds and also humans. That's basically where your white blood cells come from. And when you use tetracycline and a lot of other drugs, that tends to lower the, the counts of those naturally occurring white blood cells. And black seed oil has been found to actually counteract the negative effects of tetracycline and some other commonly used medications in poultry and pigeons. Um, so, so needless to say, if, if you are a guy who uses the medicine bottle to treat your birds, and, I, and I'm not, I'm not one of those guys, I, I don't do it. Um, I've treated my pigeons once in the last 15 years. They wound up Maybe 15, 16 years ago, had a had a coccidiosis outbreak, and it was bad enough. It came. From, it actually was found. It was uh, actually came into that loft because it had some floor damage from a leak, and I didn't fix it. And eventually, rodents started to get in, and they wound up spreading coccidiosis through that loft. And I really didn't realize it until I started noticing a lot of young bird deaths. Uh, basically, birds would come out of the nest, and they wean themselves off and maybe a week or two later they'd uh, waste away and then they'd die and I had a, a real tough time with that and I eventually after kind of everything I could try or think of I, I eventually did treat with Corid you know which I, I think as far as you know medications go I think Corid is a, a pretty good drug but that is the only time I ever used it just had a cat climb up the fence right there but uh, so I'm not really a medication guy, but a, a lot of you are, and so I don't use tetracyclines or anything like that. But a lot of people do, and they don't realize the the damage it does to the lymphocytes and leukocytes um, in the blood of their pigeons. And the black seed oil will actually completely stop the negative effect of that. So uh, one of the other things that's been found, like I said, um, it's been found with the. It's, it has been tested for the Chinese squab industry, which is pretty big over there. <clears throat> and in addition to finding some of the same things they found out in poultry, a lot of them were pretty well duplicated what was found in poultry research related to black seed oil. Um, one of the things it found is that in addition to improving egg quality of the birds, it actually improved the fertility of the cockbirds. Um, and the primary reason it found that is it actually increased the the swimming ability of the sperm as they as they seek the egg out during the fertilization process. So it actually did a, a lot for fertilization. So if you have an old uh, an old cockbird that's not maybe filling eggs, whether it's a chicken or a pigeon, black seed oil is a good natural supplement to use 
probably before you want to try an actual fer uh, fertility drug. Um, one of the other things that was found in the in the squab industry in China is that there was actually a pretty significant weight gain in the squabs. Um, almost 7%, which for a meat bird, that's, that's pretty substantial. And it's not so much that it just made the pigeons fat, it basically just improved their health and they had, they grew up faster. Um, and my use as a supplement, I found I could grow really good squabs on using the black seed oil in conjunction to the other things I do. Um, I think it does make a difference. I think it uh, results in a much healthier squab. So if you really want to improve your squab health and your egg health and get really good fertility out of your breeders, I think black seed oil is something to use. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, benefits of black seed oil for, for humans. There's been a, a lot of stuff found. And if you go out and do a little bit of research, you'll, you'll find mention of that. I really don't want to go into that here. But a, a lot of those apply to pigeons as well. You'll find a very, very wide variety of things attributed to the use of black seed oil. So if you want to get the stuff, um, almost any health food store has it. Um, this bottle came from my corner, quote, health food store. They're a health food, natural health food store slash produce market they pretty much just carry natural products if you want natural soda they have it if you want organic vegetables or grass-grown beef or anything like that they have that stuff and they also have a pretty big range of supplements and this is in their supplement aisle this bottle was $26 you can do a lot better on the internet I've seen a 32 ounce bottle for 40 bucks so for about twice the price you're getting about four times as much if you shop around so it's not it's not cheap but you can definitely do better than i did locally but like i said you know i just pop around the corner and grab it when i need it um so uh a lot of that being said as far as you know obviously a lot of you you're going to go hey right, i want to try the black seed oil and all that and maybe start using it so you want to know how how you administer it to your birds and it's really, really simple. Um, this is how I do it. Um, I usually use it in conjunction with brewer's yeast or garlic. I use the black seed oil as a carrier. Um, and I also do that with my poultry as well. Um, also, you, you know, but we'll talk about brewer's yeast and stuff like that later. Uh, brewer's yeast is really, really great. If you don't use it, you should be using it whether you're racing or whatever you're doing you should be using it we're going to talk about it later but i use it in conjunction with that just because it's in addition to wanting to give the black seed oil it's also a perfect carrier to administer basically powdered supplements so basically what you do is you take your your dry feed out of your bin and you <clears throat> put that feed in a bowl and basically what i do is i add just enough of the black seed oil to glaze the feed when i mix it up it's probably when I mix it, I'm probably mixing a five pound scoop and I'm probably using about a tablespoon is about what I use. And needless to say, I mix it up really, really well by hand. And then I add my brewer's yeast or my garlic powder or sometimes probiotic powder or electrolytes, things of that nature. Whatever it is I'm using in conjunction with it. There's a couple different things I use. I don't, like I said, I don't get into medications and stuff like that or bona fide drugs but i do use a, a some natural supplements here um that i think are beneficial so you know just like some of you who use flax oil it's basically administered the same way um so after you mix it up if, if some of the powder doesn't stick to the grain i add a little more you know because obviously this is not an exact science you know because we are we're not all feeding the same but i think it's about a tablespoon for about five pounds of feed um, so a lot of you race guys, you use flax oil and some other oils to supplement your race team and load them up on, on carbs and fats, um, usually before a long distance race. So basically it's administered the same way, usually use the oil and then brewer's yeast or garlic powder or with the poultry, some cayenne powder, something like that. Um, you know, so if you understand that using oils. Before, backs, uh, before basketing, you know, you, you get the process. 
you just add a tablespoon to your you mix the feed you mix it up good you add whatever you're going to add brewer's yeast garlic powder cayenne probiotics whatever you're doing um and that's it it's really really simple to do um easy to administer there's no toxic side effects of the black seed oil um so you know if you get more than that you know it may you know it might give your pigeons the squirts from being a little too oily but other than that it's not going to do anything to your pigeons um you know it's kind of like you eating you know going out and eating fatty foods you know maybe it'll give you the squirts but that's all it's going to do and then you're going to be fine afterward and that's really the only known side effect of too much um, i personally haven't seen an example of too much you know if you stick with a tablespoon five pounds of grain you know you don't want to use it on a pellet or anything i wouldn't use it in water because it is an oil it's going to float it's not going to mix thoroughly but that's the best way to use it one tablespoon to five pounds of grain and in an ideal world a little bit of brewer's yeast garlic powder whatever other stuff you use which a lot of us we do use different things um and i i think if you if you implement the black seed oil into your breeding program is basically one of your management is one of your management methods and i do it twice a week i give them black seed oil and I think you're going to find you're going to get really, really nice squabs. And I think maybe some of those older stock cocks you have, that maybe they miss an egg every now and then, I think you're going to find they're not going to miss them as often. You're going to get better fertility, healthier squabs, better egg quality. Uh, your hens will lay more in tune with their natural cycle opposed to sometimes, you know, instead of the cycle being kind of retarded, you know, the way it should be, you notice every now and then, you know, if you breed all your pigeons together at the same time and you time them with the idea of getting all these squeakers in line, sometimes there's always one or two hens that are kind of behind. And I've found that it, it helps those hens speed up the normal cycle, basically keep it normal. So I, I, I think if you use the stuff, I think you're gonna find some really, really beneficial benefits. Like I said, it's it's very widely available. You can look on the internet. Any Amazon is probably a good source to find it. You know, I would recommend getting organic or natural or whatever they want to call it. Um, but it's not really not really cropped. It's really hit with a lot of pesticides. Like I said, the black seed oil shouldn't be confused with black sunflower seed oil. It's not the same thing. It's something completely different. Go out and do some research on nigella sativa or black seed oil. I think you're going to be amazed by the information you find if you really dive into it. I think you're going to find something that's, the more you look at it, you're going to go, wow, this really has a lot of benefits and my pigeons should be on it. Maybe I should too, as a person. Um, so that is it, guys. That's just a little bit on black seed oil. Pretty long video here, almost 20 minutes, but wanted to be kind of thorough. So that is it, guys. See you later. I hope this helps.